Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood teen librarian, Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library. And today's video is gonna be about the art subscription box. Hopefully you guys have picked up your box, kind of taken a look, seen what's inside. I have two disclaimers for you. This one is messy. Do not wear your nicest clothes. Maybe put on a paint shirt or pajama shirt, something that you don't mind if it gets a little bit of color on it. Here's the other thing. Your hands are definitely gonna get a little messy. So don't worry, it's just food coloring. It will come off, but it may stay on there for a couple of days. I had uh, green fingers for a long time after making this video. So promise it comes off, but don't wear anything that you don't wanna get messy. Let's take a look, see what you got in your box and get started. So you should have gotten some paper, half of a ruler, a pipette, a chopstick, shaving cream, three types of food coloring, and a plastic tray that we are going to use to make our beautiful marbled paper. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our shaving cream and we're going to shake it because that's what the directions tell us to do. <laughs> and after you've got that shaken for a pretty good amount of time, we're going to take the lid off and you should just be able to press it down and we want a thin layer of shaving cream to go into our plastic tray. Don't worry if it, it looks kind of clumped up, that's okay. Okay, once you have that in there, and like I said, it doesn't have to be thick, it can be thin. We are going to smooth it out just a little bit. We're gonna take our ruler and just kind of drag it across the top because you want a nice flat place to lay your food coloring. Get that. Kind of like frosting a cake. Now we can open one of our food coloring containers and we're gonna use our pipette to kind of suck up some of that food coloring. And we're gonna dot it on. You wanna make sure that if, um, if you're gonna be using all of the colors, you wanna make sure that there's space for all of them to get mixed up together. You don't have to use all of the colors. You can use just one if you want to. Totally up to you how you wanna start this. If you want a couple sheets with one color and then do a couple sheets with two and then do your lost sheets with three, or you can do what I'm gonna do, which is I'm gonna use all of them. And I know that food coloring looks orange, but it's actually yellow. And then this one, you should have a red and a blue. I didn't have red when I was making this video, so I think I've got green and blue in mine. You just wanna make sure that there's colors everywhere. Not huge drops, but a little bit. Okay, I've got my third color here, and I'm gonna dot that on as well. Maybe just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna take my pipette, you can take your chopstick, and you're gonna basically swirl this back and forth, back and forth, side to side, up and down, round and around, and you can start to see that it's gonna make a marble pattern. Now anywhere where you have kind of white left, that shaving cream all by itself, that's gonna stay white on your paper. And so you wanna make sure that you get those colors really worked all together. You can't really swirl this too much. Okay, now I'm gonna take one of my pieces of paper and I'm basically gonna lay it flat in there. I'm gonna push down just a little bit, not enough that the shaving cream squishes out, and then I'm gonna just kind of tap and rub on there to make sure that all parts of the paper are touching the food coloring and the shaving cream. Not hard, I don't want the shaving cream to squish out. And then very slowly, I'm gonna pick it up. You can start to see some of the color patterns you're gonna get. This is where your fingers are probably gonna get colored in food coloring and that's okay. We're gonna use the ruler to scrape off 
the shaving cream. Don't worry, the dye will be left on the paper. So you really want to make sure that you do get all of the shaving cream off or it doesn't dry the way that you want it to. So just make sure that you're using that as kind of a kind of like your buttering toast. You're going to scrape scrape that all there. You can do whatever and make noise. I just take all And then you can just put that excess shaving cream right in the trash. You can wipe it off or you can use a, a Kleenex to kind of get it all off. And then you can add a little bit more food coloring. If there are some parts that you thought should have had color and didn't, or more of one color that you wanted to see, or if you did your first set only using one color, you may want to add in your second color now. And then like you have your chopstick, so pull your chopstick. I'm using my pipette here, but and you're gonna do that marbling technique again. And just make sure that you get all of those colors swirled together. I wanna make sure that I get that white pretty much covered up because mostly I want color. And I definitely want some of that yellow out there in the middle. There we go, okay. And then you're gonna do the same thing again with another sheet of paper. Kind of lay it on there, carefully, lightly press it down and sort of squidge it around with your finger so that every part you know has, has touched where the shaving cream is. And then you can pull that up again. And you'll pull out your ruler and using the edge, scrape that off. Oh, I have some yellow under there. I didn't know about That's cool. And you get this beautiful marbled paper. You should have enough shaving cream that you'll be able to do it um, again if you want to. You can completely clean that out and start over. Or you can kind of just keep going with the shaving cream that you've got in there. You can see my fingers are definitely starting to show all of the different colors. But that's okay. And you can use these uh, pages. You can cut them out to make shapes. You can make little notebooks out of them. Really, whatever things you use regular paper for, making cards for people, you can use these for as well. Just make sure that you get all the shaving cream off, and then you'll probably want to let them sit overnight so that they completely dry. And these are my finished marble paper projects. Nice and bright. And there you are, beautiful marbled paper for whatever use you may have for it. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and if you did, please fill out your uh, form that you got in your box for December subscription box. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.